Alrighty, so you guys, I'm for Gaming me today, guys, I'm Kitty Guys with some Turf Wars on the Mindplex server. And today, guys, we are going to be just wrecking some people with our boat, actually. So it's kind of a different strategy than our normal sword PvP content. We're going to be using our bow to wreck people and ruin their faces to the extent of utter domination. So, well, actually, it may not be utter domination because we actually may not win this, but hopefully we do. Uh, cause I have high hopes for this game. I'm doing the old strategy of just making walls of 2x2 two two so they can't really stack or hit anyone from our back. We have 5 seconds left to build time actually, which is kind of, uh, depressing. Uh, just cause I love my build time so much. Okay, so we got our little area here. We're just gonna snipe some people. Uh, look at that guy up there. Taking a nice shot at him. Boom. And boom. Oh my gosh, we already got killed by someone with archery. That was really good. Um, so I don't know if you guys knew this already, but how this game works is basically you have a uh, you are archering against other people who are also archering against you, one shot kills, and uh, it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun, I have to say. And boom, and boom. No, I don't want you. And let's see if we can get this guy. Boom. No, that guy was already killed. And let's see if we can get the snipe across map. We haven't really gotten any kills. This is kind of depressing, actually. Yay, we got a kill, guys. Look at that. We got one kill. Yeah. Oh, no. We got killed again by this NBL9 guy. That's pretty impressive that he's killed us twice now. Uh, let's keep going, though. You know, we can we can make this. We're still doing good. 45 to 15. Utter domination by our team. Uh, we are going in to wreck these guys. So hardcore right now. Uh, let's see if we can face that. Whoa! Whoa! how that guy get up there? Oh, he's just sitting up there. This NB9 guy is just sitting up there, chilling, not even on the front lines. He's just, like, hanging back there doing the... Whoa! This guy is, like, ridiculous. He has, like, full map shots or something. He's, like, aimbot with the... With aimbot with his snipe. So we're going to make a nice little fortress up on our little thing here. Uh, it's going to be a pretty awesome fortress if I do say myself. We can't build here, so we're just going to build more here. Uh, we're going to build like that. We're going to be... This is the NB9 fortress. So we can peek over and boom. And boom. And let's see where people are. Looks like there's some people over there. And boom. And boom. Boom. And boom. Oh, we just won the game. I've only got one kill, I think, that entire time. That was pretty bad of myself, uh, though I'm pretty not disappointed with us winning that game. Let's jump in to round two, ladies and gentlemen. Round two. Alrighty, guys. Welcome back to round two. This time, we are going to be playing on the blue team. We're feeling like we want to have some ice with the like nice mocha because the mocha is the red. But we're feeling that the mocha is way too hot right now, and we need to put some ice in it. We need to cool down this mocha so much. We need to wreck this mocha right now. It's like if you're going to Dutch Coffee Bros or whatever, and you're wanting, like, a fresh espresso coffee or whatever, it may not be, like, your top-notch fresh espresso, but it could be your fresh top espresso if, like, the chef is, like, on top of this coffee making. And, like, do coffee makers even have chefs, or is it just, like, coffee making people? Because, I mean, I'm assuming that coffee making people must have chefs, because, I mean, they're making stuff, and it's technically a food, or is it really a drink? I mean, it's kind of, it's a drink, but is a drink a type of food, because it does give you nutrients, and it's really the definition of food that it does only gives you nutrients. This is the question. But anyway, I am playing an infiltrator, uh, which means I can go around and kill people with a sword in the enemy territory, uh, which will help us with our PvPing skills, because, like, I'm, I'm pretty good at PvP. Um, not extremely good, but better than my archery skills, as we can see here. Uh, we're going to... Oh, my gosh. The epic panda right now. Coming in with the plays right there. 33 to 31. Not that big of a deal right now. See if we can get the snip. Oh, yes, we did right there. That was a pretty good shot for our team. Uh, brought us pretty close in. No, 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 sir. Whoa. They are kind of wrecking our face right now. But it's not that bad. We can make a definitely a comeback, I believe in the right near future uh let's do a drop down shot right into middle there wow they just push right into us with 20 and 44 i mean there's a definite possible comeback coming out and boom wrecking that guy's face we are going to come around and see what we can do with this damage here we go 
And boom, boom, boom. There we go. The double chops, and we got the kill in there. 21 to 43. We bought it back a little bit, but now it's just brought back to 20 to 44. All we need now is just a few more kills here, and we can bring it back, actually. Uh, nope, then never mind, never mind. It's 16 to 48. We are definitely not bringing this back anytime soon. We have build time, though. Really quickly, can we get a little arrow shot off? That's what we did. There we go. We have build time now. We just need to build a giant wall of China. The Great Wall of China is being built right now, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if you like the Great Wall of China or not. It kind of separates, you know, segregated some China places. But, you know, I like the Great Wall of China just because, you know, it's the Great Wall of China. It allows me a great analogy for making Great Walls of China in the game. Ah! I don't want to die here. Whoa! Whoa! That guy. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, we just brought a comeback there. I think our team would be dead right now if it wasn't for us. Here we go. Boom! No! That wasn't a good shot. And we're going in. And then we're going in. And we're going in. No, we just died there. 11 to 53. We can make a game. Yes, 11 to 53. Come on. 13 to 53. Come on. We can do this. We can do this. Yes, we got that one kill. We got that one kill. We got that one kill. And we got the... Oh, we got the one kill, though. That brought us to 11 to 53. Come on, guys. We're keeping a comeback. We're staying. We're staying here. No. Yes. 11 to 53. Come on. Come on. Here we go. The comeback is in needed. Boom. No. We 9 to 53. Come on, guys. 7 to 5, 9 to 55. Come on, 7 to 57. No. This is not possible. Yes, we got that one kill. Perfect. No. Okay, 3 to 61. Come on. We can make a comeback. Come on, guys. Okay, 1. Just... Um, ah. Well... One for one. That's one win for one loss. Red team does seem to be annihilating us with their mochas. So it seems like red team's mochas are more powerful than the blue team uh, non-mocha, which is the ice. Uh, so we're going to be the mocha side again, I think. And I'll see you guys in round three with Kit Mocha. And the Kit Marksman. I mean, on Team Mocha. Sorry, not on Team Ice. Kit, Team Mocha. And I'll see you guys in round three. Alrighty, guys, we're back with round three. Here we go. Let's see what we can do, guys. We are on the Mocha side. Like I said, brand new map. I think we've done a different map each time. Uh, so here we go. We're going to the Marksman class. Uh, so we do not get that sword. But, you know, we're going to build our nice podiums that protect us from the gods of graciousness and mochas and delicious coffees and chocolates and different types of chocolates and things that are delicious and holiness and powerful and yeah you know we should make a parkour map let's make a parkour map right now so there's that there's that and then it's gonna go down uh we're gonna have to make the jump here so let's see our parkour so it's gonna start here and it goes here here and it goes down here perfect and it goes up to the side and we can come here and shoot this guy's face off right now and boom first kill first blood there we go ladies and gentlemen and that's good. We get a little extra gems, you know. We get a little extra gems for that accomplishment. It's a very good accomplishment. It's like if you're like in a New Year situation or whatever, the first person to like tweet, "That's the New Year's, yay!" gets some type of reward. I don't even know anymore. I don't even know. Okay, well, it looks like this blue team is kind of being wrecked again by the red team domination. Let's go. It's good team. Good idea. You know, just just kill that. Just just kill that. And boom. Yeah. Oh, we miss. And boom. No, he missed. And boom. And boom. And that person's running with the bow. And boom. And boom. And we're on the front lines of everybody. We are juking. We are juking. And we're just wrecking these blues. And the wreck is coming out. We're going to head up to the top floor. We're going to head up to the top floor with the shot. And no. And the counter up shot is false. And that shot over there, over the rainbow. And boom. Shakalaka. See if they get the spawn kill through there. Nope. This guy person just dropped down. And we died by jo Joe. Joe, you just killed us, bro. We're going to keep down, down, down through mid, guys. We're going to do some parkour here. Parkour skills all the way. Uh, we're going to keep this utter domination right now. Let's build some defenses mid-game uh, to build up our strategic position of our wreckage. There we go. Nice kill there. Another chop there. And we are just, we are, like, wrecking these guys more than... I did on the blue team so I think our our domination here is partly coming from me and partly coming from them you know we're getting a lots of blocks let's just like build you know a massive Great Wall of China again I like the Great Wall of China like I said great invention uh, by Albert I. Einstein I don't know who invented the Great Wall of China but it was a great invention and boom and boom and boom 
And boom. And they're holding on. Oh no, Joe killed us again. They're coming back to 11 to 53. What will happen? <laughs> I believe that we're going to win. Oh no, 13 to 51. This is not good. They can make a big comeback here or we could just, you know, wreck them more. You know, I think they're doing a little bit better. Oh my gosh. They could be making a comeback. We were so close and yet so far. And boom. And boom. Oh my gosh. Our guy just went in ham there and just wrecked everybody's faces. And boom. And boom. Oh my gosh. Joe again with the shots. I tell you, Joe is like the proest player ever. Will we turn out to win this really quick? Oh my gosh, they're already back up to 11. They're already back up to 11. Every kill counts right now. Uh, let's do a full charge up bow. And let's. there we go. Let's just try and kill this Joe man uh, from Joe man group. Here we go. We're going to circle around, drop down through the middle area, and let's see if we can pick off this Joe. Let's see if we can pick off. There we go. We just got that guy. And boom. Mid. Oh my gosh. We are kind of in their spot. And for the final kill, we just got it for the final kill. We got the first kill in zone. We got the second kill. Oh my gosh. That was excellently played. GG for everyone. That was fun. That was exciting. And definitely well done by everyone. Um, and definitely GG's to everyone. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video of Turf Wars on the Mineplex server. The IP will be down in the description below if you guys do want to check it out for your own pleasure of gaming and wrecking people with either the team cappuccino or coffee or mocha versus team ice cold soda and ice just in general. <sighs> Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Remember to like and subscribe for more content if you haven't already. And I'll say, see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!